Hello, my sax playing friend, Alexander here from saxophonemasterclass.com. In today's lesson, I'm going to tell you all about how you can play the C major pentatonic scale across the whole range of the saxophone. This scale is going to really help you with learning new songs on the saxophone. It's going to help you with your technique. It's going to help you with improving your range on the saxophone, playing those low notes, playing those high notes. And it's even going to help you with improvising on the sax as well. So stick around if you want to learn the scale step by step with up close fingerings and make sure to download the PDF so you can work on the scale offline. Just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash C pentatonic and you're going to be able to instantly download the C major pentatonic scale along with the C minor pentatonic scale which is another pentatonic scale that you can play on the saxophone. If you want to learn about the C minor pentatonic scale I actually have another lesson on that and I'm going to link to it at the end of this video or in the description below. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to show you how to play C major pentatonic starting on the low C. <laughs> So we're starting on the low C, which is three fingers in the left hand, three fingers in the right hand, and this low key down here. Not this one, but this one here, right at the bottom. Sounds like this. Then we're gonna move up to D, which is just lifting up that pinky. Up to E, lifting up the ring finger. Then G, which is just three fingers in the left hand. Then A, two fingers in the left hand. And then we land on the note C again, which is just that middle finger. Now, if you're having trouble getting that low C out, I have a video on how to improve your low notes. I'll link to it at the end of this lesson or in the description below. But that is the C major pentatonic scale. And you might notice that it's very similar to the C major scale on the saxophone. We're just playing five of the notes from the C major scale. The C major scale has C, D, E, F, G, A, and B, it has seven notes, and we're taking five of those notes to create the C major pentatonic scale. C, D, E, G, and A. So we're actually taking the first degree of C major, the second degree of C major, the third degree of C major, the fifth degree of C major, and the sixth degree of C major. So that's just something to keep in mind. Once you know your major scale, it's really easy to figure out your major pentatonic scale. So that's C major pentatonic in the first octave of the sax, but now I'm going to show you the C major pentatonic scale in the second octave of the saxophone, starting on the middle C. So we're starting on middle C, which is just that middle finger. And now we're getting into the second octave, so we're going to press the octave key here. Three fingers in the left hand, three fingers in the right to play D. Still holding the octave key, we're going to move up to E, lifting up that ring finger. Then we're going to move up to G. A. And finally C with the octave key. And that's the C major pentatonic scale in the second octave. So we're actually pressing the octave key the entire time apart from that middle C, which is the note that I started on. So that's the C major pentatonic scale in the first octave and then the C major pentatonic scale in the second octave. Try to work on these both individually before moving on to combining the two of them and playing from the low C all the way up to the C with the octave key and then all the way back down again. This is how you should practice your scales and make sure that you're tonguing every note when you're trying to learn the scale at first. 
and preferably work to a metronome as well, which is really important when you want to improve your rhythm. So now I'm going to play both octaves of the C major pentatonic scale, starting on low C, all the way up to high C with the octave key, and all the way back down again. And I'm going to tongue every single note and play it slowly and evenly. Let me show you what I mean. Like I said, the major pentatonic scale is great for improvising with, and that's why I created the Saxophone Improvisation Challenge, which you can check out at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash SIC. There's a link in the description of this video. And in that challenge, I show you how to start improvising around this scale. It's completely free, no strings attached, and I promise by the end of that challenge, you're going to be able to improvise even if you're a complete beginner. All right, my friend, that's it from me this week. If you want to get more lessons like this, check out the rest of my videos on my YouTube channel and make sure to subscribe because I put out lessons every single week. They're totally free and I'm here to help you progress and improve on the saxophone step by step. Until next time, happy playing.